In this video, I will be giving you an introduction into Imperia Studio's homepage. So after you install the software, uh, if this is a new version and not an upgraded version, uh, if you click over here on the gear icon, uh, this will take you to kind of the general uh, formats for the software. But more importantly, here is the data folder. And so this is where you're going to set that all of your data is going to reside. And so it can be in a folder on your desktop, it can be in your documents, uh, but this is just where all of your images and data are going to be saved to. So then here on the home page, we have the pro uh, projects, image gallery, antibody validation library, and template library and experiment designer. So the, when you are going to be bringing images into Imperia Studio, you're going to first click on the image gallery. And then you have some options up here as to whether you're going to bring in Lycor zip files or Image Studio work areas. And uh, the way that this works is that if you already have existing files, either generated through Image Studio or the Lycor acquisition software, you're going to uh, bring those in using uh, the zip files option right here. And when you click on that, you just simply navigate to where the uh, file is located. And your other option is for to import uh, Image Studio work areas. And this is going to allow you to import all of the images from a specific work area. And again, uh, you just you come down here uh, and then you navigate uh, to the work areas and uh, click select. And then it will import all of the images from that particular work area. Now back on the home page here, uh, under projects, you're going to see a list of all of your projects. Now if you are upgrading from a previous version of Imperia, uh, you will have your existing list of uh, projects. If this is a new version uh, or a clean install, you are going to click on uh, create new project. And you're going to give this uh, a, a name right here. You can give a description of the project. Uh, you can type your name in here. Uh, the date that it was created, uh, your principal investigator's name, your mailing address, and right here it lists the uh, version of software that you're using, and then you can also enter in uh, the data location. And after that, when you click start, you are able to uh, come in here and create new experiments. Now I will be going over the experiment list uh, on a later video, but we just wanted to cover that all right there. Uh, in the antibody validation library, when you click on that, you will have a list of all the antibody validations that you've done, any ratings that you've given them, uh, whether they are active or not. And uh, so if, uh, this is where you will find a list of all of your antibody validations uh, from all of the different projects that you have. The template library and experiment designer, this is uh, where you can set up templates or use existing templates for uh, in-cell Western analysis. And I will be going over how to create new templates or how to use templates in a later video. Thank you very much.